Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles. Uh, new recording session of the day. Been a couple weeks since I played. Pardon the rust, yada yada, you know the deal. This is what happens when I play this game for so long. Any game. Uh, this is episode 3A of the Capital Falls. I wonder what will happen in it. <laughs> okay. I think I remember seeing that there are 18 chapters in Valkyria Chronicles. All right, we've broken through Vassal. We're in striking distance of Rangri's now. Welkin, I'm afraid I've got some bad news. The Marmota reached the gates at Rangri's. It plowed through them and into the castle. Oh no. Yeah, see? 18 different chapters. I don't know if you can actually see that. No, we're too late. The big musical swell. What does this actually mean politically, though? Like, so their tank is parked in our parking lot. What does that mean? <laughs> oh, yeah, Chapter 18. Shadow of the Valkyra. The personnel has been updated. With what? Finale, Shadow of the Valkyrie. Okay. Where's this going? He's... You haven't been put in jail, dude! Your Highness honors me with an audience. I offer my thanks. I didn't recognize him with the helmet. stand humbly before you. Your Highness... You must allow me to apologize for the somewhat brutish manner of my entrance to your domains. This is weird, right? no less from Europa's premier commander, the great Maximilian. To cross our sovereign border with such lightning speed. Your tactics are admirable. Tim Guyliner? And you are the one they call Borg. You attempt to ally yourself with the Federation. Then you turn over a new leaf and become the Empire's informant. It is all to ensure that Gallia remain a stable nation, of course. Ours is a small land, as you know. Our fate is made secure by such agreements. Why haven't you been arrested, man? Gallia will accept unconditional surrender and become a vassal state to your empire. In return, by our treaty and your grace's favor, I, your humble servant Borg, will rule Gallia in your stead. <laughs> I'm afraid you're mistaken. What use could we possibly have for Gallia as a vassal state? We, Maximilian, shall be the one to assume the archive. How could you have possibly not seen that coming? Gallia shall be made anew under us. Like, oh, there's they're an evil expansionist then empire. Then is sole master of this palace. They won't betray me. The lance that lies resting within its walls. Falkov, the key to ruling all Europa. <gasps> Is, is it the thing she's holding? How could you know? My dear princess, Cordelia, you shall serve as our bride. The Valkyrian bloodline, legacy of the great House Rangris, would be a fitting... House Rangris, huh? King of Europa. The Valkyrian bloodline? I see. You wish to ransom Europa with its... Has she just never been in danger before, and so she's never been in life-threatening danger, I mean? ...respect the people of this continent hold for that ancient blood is undiminished to this day. Well then, I hate to disappoint you, but this is the true face of House Rangri. Your, your Highness, what are you doing? Ritual self-sacrifice? Is it? <laughs> you fools! It is dark, sir. Princess, what is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this? What does this actually mean? Like, this is a swerve and all, but 
to what end and for what purpose? She's a lot quieter now for some reason. The indigenous people, the Darkson tribes, fought them for control of this land. Mm-hmm. But the powers of Ragnite they possessed were too great. The Darkson cities were burned. The struggle continued, though its conclusion was clear. Her forehead is gigantic. <laughs> Ultimately, one influence. Like I know it's the crown, but Jeez. The Darkson were defeated and quickly became slaves to the Valkyra. And victorious, the Valkyra authored history to blame Darksons for scorching the earth. Mm hmm. Of course, that makes sense. Then the descendants of that clan of treacherous Darksons lived on as. Yes, as House Rondgreaves. Funny. Dukes of Galia. In return for their betrayal, the Valkyra established them as the rulers of Galia. Hmm. <laughs> we donned the identity of our masters and were complicit in the Darks and slander. With a perfect scapegoat, the people quickly acquiesced to new rule. A common tale. A common tale that has caused me much grief. To face my people deceptively has pained me. Until the day came Man, not even Borg knew, huh? Trading my free will for comfort. Were it not for a single officer's words, I would no doubt still be lost. Oh, house protagonist. Squad hero. Bound by neither fate nor duty to obey the false blood within me, I live by my own will. I live for the sake of Galia and its people. This, and this alone, is my calling. All the more reason to be my bride. No. For the sake of my people, I shall see you dead. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> what delightful barbarism. Do all Galleon brides share your lust for blood? I respect her hustle, but I gotta admit, he's got like a hundred pounds and like two feet on her. If you desire safety for your Also, I think one of them is armored. I don't think that she is. I can't tell if he's actually wearing armor though. Is in my possession. To see your homeland burn again, that would be a shame. But it's not her. I mean, she was born thousands of years after it happened, right? I really thought that she was going to ascend the throne and be, like, a third Valkyra, and then we would have, like, tag team Valkyra. I guess not. Jailbreak, huh? Something happened? What's all the commotion? It's them. The Imperial Army invaded Rangris. What? Look. I don't think Faldio's in the wrong for what he's done so far. They crashed through the city walls with a huge tank and drove it into the castle. Because the thing is like, this is a little ends justify the means here. But there was no way anyone could have possibly won without Faldio shooting Alicia. She ended up completely fine with no long-term effects from the bullet. Not even lead poisoning from having a bullet in her body. And, and Faldio's like, yes, what I did was wrong. And he's right, it was, but he didn't do anything wrong. Does that make sense? It is an awful act, but for God's sakes, we're in war here, man. And now they're doing some kind of work on the tank still half stuck into the castle. The idea of having a tank large as a building, like, why even have a capital city? Why have a, a castle? Like, he should just be in that tank all the time, right? Work on that. Did they learn at the Valkov's location? Uh, Mr. Historian's already caught up on everything. No. I can't afford to wait around here. Sorry, but... Could he have broken out the whole time? My... My chest... It's tight. It hurts. Guard, I've got a sick man in here. Oh, that's kind of lame. Hmm? What? What's... My... My heart. I... Help. Help me. 
No wonder we're losing this war if our guards are this stupid. Are you alright? Uh, hey, talk to me. I'm sorry. Thud. Forgive me. I've got to get to Rangrees. I just hope I'm in time. Oh, is he a tank commander? Because I kind of feel like we're going to get an escalation of power for the third thing. My money is either on... We're going to have Alicia playable as a Valkyrie in full completely. But now, I guess we could have Faldio show up uh, to help us out. That'd be cool. I... I'm also kind of just hoping <laughs> for a uh, a little help, you know. Going close to Rangrees now. As for our plan of attack, once we arrive, focus your attacks on the spot damaged by Sergeant Melkiot in the previous battle. Makes sense. Exploit that. Gain access to the interior, and destroy the Dreadnought's engine. Follow. Right. Of course, that makes sense. Yes, Captain. Oh God, you're ugly. <laughs> I'm confident you can do this, soldiers. You are dismissed. <laughs> but he's ugly and he's not in the protagonistos. Quite a risky operation. I know. I'm worried about morale if everyone feels like it's a suicide mission. One of these again. We're used to your crazy missions by now, aren't we, guys? Yeah, you bet. Nothing bothers me anymore now. Yeah, well... And it helps to know that if we can just win this one, our war will be over. And then there will be no more problems ever again, right? We'll do it for Isara and all the other yeah. friends we lost along the way. And for all of Galia's people. One more victory and they'll have peace. And then there will be no more problems after this. Words fail me. Thank you. All right, everybody. Get ready to deploy. I'm kind of getting pumped. <laughs> Almost showtime, huh, Welkin? Yeah. Militia rides into Rand Grease showdown. Mind if I put you all story on the radio? Our monarch is currently in a terrorist hostage situation. Can we? I'm afraid I can't go help you fight. Can we wait for a bit? But I'd like to do what I can to stand by you, as ace journalist Irene Ellett. Okay, why not? Our activities are hardly a secret to the Empire at this point. Irene Ellett, huh? I can't remember ever hearing your full name like that. At least until the war ends and I get married. Then I'll be Irene Kohler, just FYI. <laughs> this will be my last big assignment as an Ellett. <sighs> Time to do the old name proud. One of these again, by the way. Let's do, let's see if I can't crank anyone's skills here, huh? Huh. So I guess the other games must be about, like, if this is the entirety of the war. I guess the other games must just all be about, like. I don't even know what they must be about. Maybe about other squads doing their own thing. That's always a thing where I'm like a little unsure about like if I agree with that, you know? All right. Like, um, for those who haven't played Half-Life, you can go watch me and my fiance's playthrough of it. Audio is a little bad in the last episode, but don't mind that. Um. But in Half-Life, you play through the entire game, right?
And then after the game, you find out like Actually wait, let's go let's go do other things first. I guess I should have saved my XP for maybe a, a boost from that one guy. Um, you find out that like there were four other protagonists. Oh, and how I couldn't help but Maiden Shield shattered. Massive vehicle spotted exiting the Wildwood has been confirmed as Marmota. Developed in secret, this is the first real use in combat. Faced with absence of the army, the militia, and the Royal Guard. Faced with the absence of the army, the militia and the Royal Guard joins hands in Operation Maiden Shield, a bid to destroy the Juggernaut as it traveled to Gully shortly after leaving Cloton. The team in managed to inflict damage to the tank's hull. The operation ended in failure and the loss of most of the guard. Uh, upon word of this, we ordered the capital placed under maximum security, and it was for nothing. Like, there's a lot of things that have kind of been for nothing because they just had that tank ready to go, you know? Uh, your, your open transnational union security council entreated the warring federation and empire on the fort to come together for peace, brokered by the ETU. Emissary sent to meet separately with the foreign ministers of both nations reported a disappointing result. Truly saddening, he proclaimed another power showed any sign of regarding interest for a compromise that might end the bloodshed. Seeing the possibility of peace talks nipped in the bud makes it seem more likely that it'll grow heated before baiting. Uh, our corresponding partners in the militia of the 3rd Regiment, our correspondence partners, succeeded in putting uh, Imperial Tank Ace Roddy Yeager to rout at Vassal, stones throw away from the capital. With Yeager defeated, the invading force consists of the Marmota. Minor details. The miraculous win is given a spark of hope that was lost after the failure of Operation Maiden Shield. In the wake of the victory, the militia has taken hold of the Vassal Bridge and is moving out. Uh... Emergency draft of all able-bodied Rangarizers to form a last-ditch defensive line against the incoming Marmota. It encompasses everyone 15 to 29 and men of ages 30 to 45 because of its grave ramifications for the economy. Only the princess possesses the constitutional right to enact the third draft. She's not been seen in public since her appearance at a parliamentary meeting last month, and rumors from inside suggest she may be ill. At present, the Borg is handling all of the political affairs with this draft proposal bearing his name as well. War without weapons, huh? <laughs> oh, man. I can't believe that that left me with 300 ducats left. That's kind of insane. Maybe it's because I haven't done it in like eons, but can I not read those? Hmm. Well, I sure hope I didn't want any <laughs> weapons. Though, tactics should be the main thing. I'll load that other save in case I need fresh uh, cash money, yo. But it should be fine. I'll get to my Half-Life spiel later. Don't mind me, everyone. Give me a status report on affixing the lance. Work should be complete shortly. Is that... Followed by final <laughs> testing, sir. Is that DC Douglas? Good. Keep it moving along, soldier. No. Yes, sir. It's just some rando. I knew it. They came to the capital to get at the Valkov. Bastards. You won't have it. He's on the tank? We should have put Faldio in like a suicide squad deal, you know? Like, he's been working. He's been doing stuff, man. Every time he's not on screen, he gets insane amounts of things done. And when he is on screen, you see what he's been up to, and you're like, damn, he is working. Your Highness, affix your signature to this treaty of marriage. You have no choice if you wish to keep your people safe. <laughs> your Grace, sir. Be silent. This treaty seals our victory. Sir, 
The Gallians have broken through the vassal defenses. General Jaeger is defeated. He also went home and had a sandwich because fuck this place. He's done here. Now the militia is headed here to Rangrees even as we speak. What? <laughs> like, I feel like it is a part of General Roddy Jaeger's character that he did kind of give up in that last fight. But also, like, I'm fine that he gave up on it, because, like, whatever. He was a cool guy. He was a cool guy. He served his part. He did what he had to do, and then he got out, you know? The Gallian militia has faced and thwarted the Empire's defenses at Vassal Bridge. Cool. They march now to the capital to liberate it from occupation. All right! That's my bro, Welkin! <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Oh, Hans is still here. Huh. Reckon I did a fair job. Is this is this that Persona 3 moment where you see all the NPCs you've met throughout the game and they're like, yeah. Uh, I love that. I love that. That's awesome. Like Again, I already commented on the concept of like Citizens of Gallia, keep fuck yeah. Turn and face the threat ahead and fight. I'm getting like chills. I already commented on, like, the smartness and intelligence of, like, make everything have a face, you know? Like, you're not just dumping XP into guys. You go to a drill instructor and he says, here's how you do it. And you don't just go upgrade your tank. There's a guy in there and he says, hey, man, what's going on? And he has a goofy Californian voice, you know? And, and then we get this moment of, like, everyone who has helped us along the way is, like, out here punching for us. They're like, yeah. Go, Welkies, go. Oh hell yeah! Baby's getting big. Belgian, if you're watching up there, your son could probably use a little help. Oh hell yeah! We did not see a lot of that guy. I wonder if you get every single thing from him. He probably if you get every single thing from him, he's probably like, by the way, I'm the ghost of your friend's dad, or I am your friend's dad, or I'm just a ghost. Yes, sir. This game kicks ass, dude. Last time, their war witch had us on the defensive. But now we possess a lance of our own. Let us settle this now. Again, capitalizing all of his pronouns is kind of hilarious. Your grace, may the Valkyra protect you. Leave the defense. Dude, you have literally been kicked by, to the curb by like four people now. Go home. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to blow out anyone's eardrums here. <laughs> Put this man to death by firing squad. The audience cheers. Look, no one is all bad. The emperor's a colon he's a colon he's a colonial colonizing. That's the word I'm looking for. He's a colonizing expansionist imperialist moron. He thinks that marriage will just solve this war and everyone will give up. He had this whole plan, and when it fell apart, he was like, eh, "Whatever, I didn't even care. It's still fine." Like his plan was to have a bunch of Valkyrie babies with with Cordelia. And when, it, when he found out the, the news, he was like, oh, that's even better for some reason, even though he's oppressing the darks and people. But look, no one's all bad, except for maybe Borg. You know, like being a villain is one thing, but being a dick is another. Like, I hate to bring up uh, Hatsune Miku's book series, Harry Potter. But in Harry Potter, like, of course, people don't like Voldemort. But people hate Umbridge because she's a dick. You know, being evil is one thing, but being a dick is different. <laughs> the fact that the tower is just on it. Oh, that's why the tower's on it. That's the lance? Th 
That's awesome! How did anyone use that? I guess they didn't hold it, but they didn't have giant machines back in the day. Good lord. Or four kilometers. That's pretty far. That's like almost a mile. Good optics. I've seen that. It's just like the Valkyrian lance, the one that Alicia carried. Look out, Seven! Clear the Marmotas. Maybe they remote control it, you know? Like maybe maybe a Valkyrie just has her hands on it and then power shoots out of the top, I guess. They say that in antiquity the Valkyra called upon Valkov's light to crush and subjugate the entire Darkson tribe. Mm -hmm. The greatest weapon of all time, fashioned into something as pedestrian as a castle tower. This is definitely more of a nuclear analog here, I can see. It awakens, shouldered by the Marmota we have engineered to bear it, a leviathan upon the land. Now, know the futility of your struggles. Bow before the terrible light that once scorched the earth. What's with the giant fans on it? Are those drills? Are they pushing it? So, if lances only work when a Valkyrie has her hands on them, what's the plan here? Damn. All right. That's a bit more of a straight up and down nuclear analog. Damn. Crazy. The Marmot has fired an unidentified beam of light. Squads four and five have been wiped out. I don't worry. Nobody cares about those squads. Hot damn. If we'd been one step slower, we'd be a big pile of dust by now. Stay clear of the front of that thing. Move around to its side. We're whittling down the army to no one here. Like, we lost, like, what? The entire army when what's her Silvaria, like, exploded herself? And then we lost all of the Royal Guard when the Marmota crashed into the capital. And we just lost... How? Like, two squads? Granted, a squad is only 20 guys, but, like, I don't even know how many regiments there are. And there's only the s at least seven in this regiment. Because it's Squad 7, 3rd Regiment, right? To impress the magnitude of our power upon the world, you shall all die gruesomely. Hmm. Now, cross us if you dare. Our history of unrivaled glory begins here. Is the Marmota going to instant kill people? Like, if it shoots someone with a Valkov, are we going to have the chance to pick them up? Oh, uh, man. Oh, I wonder what happens in this chapter. This chapter called Marmota's End. Here are the det All right. We're on the Marmota side. We may not be so lucky. This is the only chance. Area along the Dreadnought side that we damaged. Cannons mount on the ship side and waves of troops from the front hatch. Station teams at the front and side, which will work to stop the enemy. Destroy the lance. It's protected by a shell of light. What does that even mean? Hammer the damaged plating. We need a point of entry before we can do anything. You'll fight a battle unlike any fought since the dawn of war. <laughs> All right. Wow. I'm kind of starting to go crazy here. Uh. Oh man, I'm I'm getting scared. 
hinges on this. Ow. Concentrate your fire on that dreadnought and destroy it. Oh man. Oh boy. Oh man. Oh boy. Our target is the Marmota. Sink it at all costs. Squad 7, move out. Whew. I'm getting excited. Here we are, actually squaring off against the Marmota. Yeah, this will really be the final battle. Oh boy. Lieutenant Gunther, are you all right? What are you doing here in just the dirt? Princess Cordelia, what are you doing here, your highness? That's what I said. I know I may just be in the way, but I wish to be of assistance however I am able. I... I wish to fight as well. Where is she going with this? Is she going to pick up a gun? In defense of my homeland. I understand. We'd be honored to have your help in the rear guard. Here's the plan. Start by focusing our fire on the whole Alicia's lance main. The dreadnought side is lined with cannons though, so you'll need to be careful. Roger. Okay. Also, tanks can use the depression in front of the Marmota to fire upward. Right. I'm on it. You don't really kill guys, though. We've come through a lot of... I know... Okay. The hunt begins. I want to avoid having people come grab us from back here. So I'm just going to pop you like that. I don't think there's any possible way that we could get in without taking down all these fucking cannons. Is that one of ours? I guess so. Oh, I guess maybe we could smoke. Let's try smoking. That's a good trick. Leave it to me. So there's this thing in Half Life where you play through all of Half Life One. And then they're like, by the way, there were also like five other guys doing their own Half-Life 1 while this was going on. But none of them are fighting the same guys, so they all need to have some justification for who they are and why they're doing this. Let's do this thing. So like, oh, well, Freeman was dealing with the G-Man and all of that stuff. Oh, it does work. Thanks, Isara. But yeah, like, well, Freeman was dealing with all of those those G-mans and those other things. Man down. Everybody be careful. Uh, other people were dealing with their own stuff. And I promise it was absolutely relevant. And so, like, Adrian Shepard is dealing with the other army guys. Just who does she think she is? Oh, why are you on the floor, girl? Has this one been cleared? All units, watch your surroundings. What? I'm s oh. I used all my move, right. I guess I'll get back in with Rosie. Taking the stage. See if we can clear out some of that. Oh, huh. Well, this is unfortunate. What about that? Yeah, kind of thought.
But yeah, it's a thing where, like, how could Shepard possibly be doing things that are as relevant and important as any other character? And the answer is, is that he's not, and he doesn't, and he won't. I can go another round. Hell yeah, Jan. God, those two turns with Edie were kind of a ball. You? Sure. Like, if I had had two more turns right now, one of these would be taken down. Hit, please. But we actually have to end this action. But yeah, how could Adrian Shepard or Bonnie Calhoun possibly do, or Gina Cross or the other one, I forget her name, possibly do as much important, relevant things? And the the answer is that they kind of couldn't. <laughs> they they just can't do as many things that are as relevant or important or cool. Minor damage sustained. And it's a shame because like, it's not like those are cool, but in universe, those guys just don't have as much going on. Like, they couldn't possibly be doing as much interesting things. That's fine. If the guy that shoots me in the weak spot, though, it's all over, so. Don't do it. Yep, well. One moment, everyone. Alright, and we're back. I've got the girls set up here all watching down these guys, so hopefully they can just bear them down. I didn't kill that Lancer because I don't have that kind of tank ammunition. Like, not as in I don't have it, but just it's expensive to use a tank. Uh, I have taken down two guns with my Lancers. So, yeah. And now that dude has not gotten a shot off and already spent one command point. When initially he had gotten a shot off each turn. Now he's only gotten one off. Minor I've also backed the Edelweiss up so that they stay over there. Oh boy. Okay, cool. <laughs> How many was that? Was that two? I think it might have been two. Yeah. Damage minimal. That's fine. He can't kill me without getting behind me. Yeah, come on in. Yeah, all right. Taking them down. This is exactly what I wanted when I set all three girls up over there. Not bad. Ooh. Yeah, we can just leave you parked over there. That's not good. Also means she doesn't return fire as much. Okay, we can get an engineer and fix that in like a turn. That's fine. Minor damage taken. Hmm. Two turns from our engineer then. Ah, oh, shooting for the engineer, huh? I see you. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Understood. Keep that monster away from the capital. Marina's health is so tiny that it ends up being kind of problematic sometimes. All right, let's see if we can get this guy in one. Personal. Clean. That stays clean. All right, Marina can just camp there now. So that's one guy down. That's just a problem that's going to stay solved. Just try to stop me. Medic. Cool. We can just get her out in one turn. Fine by me. All right, Edie's been evacuated. Oh, 
come on. Well, there's no lances over there. Alright, All right. you need some care. And let's see if I can't get over to the Edelweiss. Let's spend one getting a fresh recruit in. Vice is not bad at all. Just watch this. Okay. Hmm. Let's do this thing. Let's be brave with Rosie. I think this can work. Of course, it does hurt her. Oh, it didn't this time. Last time it did. Cool. Man down. Everybody be careful. Oh, man. Cool. Okay, so that's another problem solved. We have this anti-tank turret and this anti-tank turret. Hmm. It would be really good to clear one of these guys out. Understood. The Gatlings are now down, so that means that Marina can move with some more impunity. I see your head. Another one down. Sweet dreams. We keep using two a turn, though, so that means that we're going to be going through our stuff pretty abreast. Get ready to die, We've got to try killing this dude again. Die, die, die. Okay, cool. Another one down. We can leave these two over here and then let them walk back next turn. Their health will regenerate a bit. And this guy only has, like, 10 hit points. Yeah, he's only got a tiny amount of hit points. So he'll be able to keep it going. Let's go. drive the tank into the camp. Push them back. Because then it can regenerate on its own. Alright. Cool. Ah, I see. We blow Yes. Sir, part of the sign. Sorry, I don't know why I'm skipping this. I haven't heard it before. You're right. I mean I guess it's because it's pretty obvious what's happening on screen and I I'm just like, come on. The Ragnite drive system is likely near the propellers. If foot soldiers could get at those to attack them. Oh. Squad sevens, you have it. <sighs> All right. The anti tanks might be a problem. Reinforcements have appeared. From where? And why? Oh, in the tank? Makes sense. Oh, one of them from over there, actually. Cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Die, die, die. I guess we'll need to leave people over here, like, permanently. Because they'll just need to stay, they'll need to keep this area locked down. Not her, though. Okay, 
We can fix that with one round as the engineer. Damage minimal. Also one round. We only did one last time. Played a little safe. Oh, let's see it. Damn. That's pretty spectacular, I'll say. Whoa, what? Why can you do that? Why? My turn, okay. Have you always been able to do that? Get her and go. And then... Run. The problem is that this thing's minimum range and that thing's maximum range cross over. There we go. Sweet spot. Ooh, in one. That's what I said. Pull it together. Okay. Just watch this. Okay. I'm going to assume that it'd be good to have a lancer up here in this zone. Thanks. Hmm. But they're slow. So it probably would have been good to have him up there last round. I'm on. She's closer and uh, faster. Hmm. Who's that over there? Somebody difficult to see, I guess. You? Sure. And we'll move Jan up. It looks like this thing might be too big to actually move. Like, it might be almost, like, stuck where it is. This is just an experiment just to see. Can I shoot in here, and will it do anything? Leave those guys there. I'll try my best. Salute, Claudia. Oh, Shamrock is also full. Oh, right, because she cranked everything. Then I guess we can just push her up. What if she could fix one of these tanks? It'll fight for us. Okay. Um, I get, I'm going to cut the episode here. It's been, you know, my normal length of time. Uh, and I'm just going to be like doing almost nothing. So yeah, I've been Alfred. This has been Valkyria Chronicles. I uh, hope you enjoyed. I had a good time. I'll see you guys later. I've been Alfred. Bye.